So for a lot of shops out there, the real chaos starts once your customer approves that quote. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily manage your orders with Shopbox. Stay tuned. Right, all right, all right. So we've got the quote already sent off to our customer. The customer's given us approval for it. How do we actually put this thing into motion? So up at the very top, one of the ways that you can find transactions quickly and easily inside Shopbox is using our global search. So if you know the transaction number or you know the customer name, you could just type it in up here at the top and press enter. So here's the quote that we sent to our customer. Moving this into a sales order couldn't be easier. So I'm just gonna go up to our actions button up here at the top and we'll click convert to sales order. So I could always do a partial work order if the customer did not want to order the sign panel or the t-shirts, and I can always come back to that later as well. Uh, those transactions are never destroyed inside Shopbox. But for now, all I have to do is click convert to sales order, and boom, that's it. Now I have a new sales order in my account. So the next steps from here would be, likely you're gonna to wanna to email a confirmation to your customer. Um, and if you've connected your payment gateway, like Stripe, Square, Authorize.net, or QuickBooks Payments, you can actually request payment in this email. So we'll fire off the email to the contact. We've got a sales order confirmation email all ready to go. And all I have to do here is hit send. We'll fire off the order confirmation to the customer, they'll get a link to submit payment inside Shopbox. So that's great, it's really easy to get paid for your orders. Now, the next step is actually sending this to production. Do you much good to know that a sales order is in process or it's completed? You need to know about the individual pieces and those are called jobs inside Shopbox. So for each one of these individual line items, our double-sided sign panel, and the screen printed t-shirts, we're gonna create a job for those. So the job is just the production item that we're tracking. So I'll go to the create job button here. We're gonna create a job for each line item. So I'm just gonna check the box for both of those line items. And we'll go one by one and create these. Uh, the status here, we're gonna assign design because that's the first step in our process. But like most of Shopbox, you can actually customize each status in your account. Um, so you're not limited to the ones that we provide you with. We'll go ahead and continue and save that job. We'll save this job. And just like that, we put both of these jobs through to our production team. So where does our team actually see those at? Well, what I'll do is go up to the very top here and click jobs. So this is going to show us the job board as we call it inside Shopbox. And I can see over here in the design queue or the design status, I've got those two jobs that we just created. Now, stay tuned because in the next video, we're gonna show you how to actually manage these jobs and make sure that you don't miss any deadlines.